April 11, 2016. Today has a lot of stuff going on in the sky. I've got, for the first time, I think, three plus clear objects. They look planetary. Um, all of them, I think, emit some kind of light. This first one is video A, and I'm playing it at 2x speed. I'll break it down with illustrations in a moment. The rest of the videos, B through E, are just going to be played for you with uh, some narration. You can try to do the breakdown yourself. I, it took me a really long time to try to figure it out, so I wanted to be able to try to push this footage out to everyone today. Here's an example. I'll be circling in yellow the clear items, orange the partially clear items, and in gray the implied items, and I'll show you the rays that imply that it's there. I labeled the little white sun, LWS. Every other object is in reference to it. SML is small, medium, and large, and the number that follows it is the approximate clock position it occupies the first time I spot it. So as you can see, I have a small, medium, and large one labeled 1, 2, and 5, and I take the markers off just uh, so that you can look underneath yourself to see whether or not it's there. In a few instances, I believe I spot more than I mark, but I'd rather err on the side of caution. I can tell that there are at least two types of lights. There's the orangish one and the whitish one. And I think there are multiple objects giving off multiple lights. In slide number three, you can see in addition to S1, M2, and L5, two additional items marked in gray. And I use the lines to show which rays I rely on for them being. You can take a look at the center screen now and even see a, a set of lines they kind of look like stripes, the rays moving across. You can tell fairly well that there's an item up there. And in slide number four, you'll see a dotted circle. And that's to show that it's somewhere along that line. That is, I see pretty strong rays. And I think that's L5 getting obscured. Another planetary object, however, becomes much clearer. And that's S6, a small one at the 6 o'clock position. Finally, as to slide five, you'll see S1. M2, S6 again. We won't see L5, but it's still implied that it's there. There's an object hanging out at the 8 o'clock position that doesn't really quite peek out, but right here, I almost think I see it strong enough. I don't know. You can be the judge of that. Video B is uh, relatively short. I play it at regular speed, and I zoom in because uh, it's, it's kind of difficult to see without doing so, and I add a filter for the same reason. How many objects do you think you spot there? Near the bottom of the screen I think is the little white sun and to its two o'clock position is another similarly shaped object. But if you look at the lights as the clouds pass them by you can watch the rays move pretty dramatically and I'm gonna go back and see if I can't find a little more confirmation about additional objects, planetary objects. But again, like I said, it was uh, more important, I think, to me to get this out to everyone so that everyone else could see it. At this point and on, the video is playing at double speed. If you could kindly do me the favor, uh, when you spot planetary objects or anything of note in these videos, could you please leave the uh, minute and second marker in the comments? That is uh, minute colon seconds. Thanks. Video C coming up in a few seconds is likewise played at double speed. It's a really peculiar one. There's, I believe, the little white sun underneath this uh, randomly large bright light with some of the obscuring chem clouds right in front of it. These bright flashes are my doing. I was adjusting the brightness on the camera. Now just above that large bright light you can make out the bottom half of another planetary object, it looks like. The bright light has the same characteristics as what we've been calling that local solar object, the thing that looks like it's lighting up the clouds from nearby. That could be the artificial light, the artificial sun. The local solar object, or supposed artificial sun, looks like it is used to make it difficult to see the other planetary objects. This is video D, and there's not a whole lot going on in it, but I do think that I capture evidence of one planetary object or light emitting object right there. 
behind the clouds, and in particular, look how quickly the rays of light move in front of it. They sweep from right to left. This is notable to me because almost all of the activity was a good bit to the left of it. Uh, I can't really calculate by how many degrees, but uh, a ways off such that I wouldn't confuse it for the other ones. So we could add this potentially to the count of planetary objects we've spotted. Finally, there's video E. And I added video E because it's got some very peculiar lighting to it. I haven't examined it in detail, so I'm excited to hear what everybody else has to say about it. We can spot the little white sun almost immediately. That is clear. It is uh, half visible, the top half over that cloud group. And there are a lot of clouds nearby that exhibit this strange parallel equidistant line pattern to it. it that's me again playing with the brightness, but I, I think I spot another object right above it at the 12 o'clock position. It's helpful uh, for me to adjust the brightness as I'm filming because it helps certain areas stand out where there's a light emitting object. Once again I'd like to thank everybody on the channel and the viewers for commenting. I've gotten great suggestions so far. A shout out to Juanita who spotted these very interesting shapes in some of my past videos so I'm going to do a little investigation on that as well. I wish you peace in your life, love in your heart. Take care, guys.